Hello, hello, hello. We're just gonna wait a few minutes or seconds for some peeps to hop on here. Okie dokie. How's everybody doing tonight? Can everybody hear me okay? So it's not very often that I um, have a Saturday night where I am free to hop on here and chat with you guys. So I thought I would take the opportunity to get on here and uh, answer any questions that you guys might have about anything at all. Um, try to keep the, uh, the questions metaphysical related or related to, um, to what I do versus <clears throat> Is my mom or dad with me? Because it's not technically a live reading, but um, yeah, I wanted to get on here and uh, feel free to, you know, post any questions that you might have at any point in time, and I will scroll up um, and I will make sure that I I get to everybody's question. Um, so I'm just gonna hop on here and talk to you for uh, a moment about life coaching, because more and more I find that I'm um, being approached to, to do, to take on life coaching appointments. So first of all, I am a licensed life coach, which is super fun. Um, but second, I, my life coaching, um, my life coaching sessions are completely different than what, um, most life coaches sessions are. It's kind of like life coaching with a twist because, um, every life coaching session includes, a uh, an intuitive reading, so a psychic reading, basically, and that really kind of helps me to um, to check in with you and see what blockages you might have, what what is actually holding you back from uh, getting, you know, and completing your goals. Um, there's a lot of different things that an intuitive can bring to a um, a life coaching session, so it's definitely something to consider. Um, usually what I'll have you do is come in and um, we'll sit down and discuss, you know, um, what it is that you are are hoping to get to. So what's your goal? Where, where do you want to be? Um, whether that's, you know, financial, um, entrepreneur, um, you know, it could be, it could even be with a family member. Maybe you want to get to a certain place with them and that's your main priority. So we'll work together to kind of break down whatever walls are there. And a lot of times they're emotional walls. You know, if, if there's an issue with not being able to open up a business or um, to, to find the confidence to go after what it is that you want, um, there's usually some blockage there. And so we go in and we try to figure out where that blockage is and um, we attack it and we, you know, we, we break down that wall and um, there's so many instances where uh, intuition has helped us. Um, even, you know, just doing a card reading has helped. Um, okay, this is what you want to do because I just gave you this reading. I know that this is going to be your issue and this is how you need to, you know, proceed. And so um, it can be, it can be very helpful and incredibly insightful. And so it's definitely something that um, if you're you're trying to find some balance in your life, you're trying to figure out where your priorities lie, um, what steps you should take if things kind of seem out of sorts, um, it's definitely something to consider. So life coaching sessions cost the same as any intuitive session with me. I just go by um, I go by the amount of time that you buy with me. So it doesn't matter what we're doing; it's going to cost the same. Um, and chances are, it's going to it's going to lead to um, something wild, something intuitive. I always say every session is an experience and, and every session is an experiment. So um, if you come in with an open mind, uh, ready to, to begin uh, and, and really um, ready to take action, we can, we can get somewhere. So that's what I wanted to bring up about life coaching. It's just life coaching with a twist is what I call it, and I, I love it. Um, we've got some super cool events coming up um, in the coming months. 
One that I wanted to talk to you a little bit about is Metaphysical Masters. It has not been posted yet, so you can't purchase tuition just yet, but Metaphysical Masters is going to be a class on January 17th that um, is it kind of, we come at it at a different angle. Um, we come at the meta, you know, the idea of, um, of, you know, getting in touch with your spirituality and um, learning everything that you can uh, in order to help further your intuitive muscle. Um, one of the things that we're going to be doing is uh, talking about manifestation, um, which you guys know is a big thing for me. Um, we will have um, a crystal and stone expert there. Um, she'll be teaching class Holly Woodruff, who looks like she's with us tonight. Hi, Holly! Um, we'll have Sherry, um, Sherry Perry, who is a incredible word master. Like she blows my mind. She's amazing with, with, um, putting together the right words in order to manifest whatever it is that you want. And that's so important. That's something that we look over, we skip. Um, and so she'll be doing a, a class on how to, um, how to string together, sentences and words and things like that in order to correctly ask the universe what it is that you want. Um, I'll be doing my manifestation class and we may throw in the tarot class. I'm not quite for sure yet if we're going to do that, but so that's metaphysical masters. Um, we have the energy enlightenment tour on the 9th of January. Um, and then we have uh, my psychic workshop on the 27th of next month. So a lot of you, um, I get, I get questions all the time about when's your next psychic class, when's your next psychic class. Okay, here it is. It's a, it's a December 27th. It's a five-hour class. There's a one-hour break in there for lunch, so basically four hours. It's a workshop. It's all day. And in the psychic class, um, there's a, you know, a big difference between being psychic and between being mediumistic. And so, um, we, we will discuss what the differences are, the do's and don'ts, um, we will, there's actually a tarot class in my psychic class, so you get to learn how to do that. You'll give multiple readings that day, and, um, you know, I always say in my psychic class, you will learn if you're a medium or not. And so, um, I'm not going to give away how you will figure that out. Um, we'll talk about that in class, but it's super exciting to see if, you know, you're going in there just thinking, man, I have really strong intuition, and you come out and you're like, oh my god, I'm also a medium. Um, and you know, you also walk out with a boatload of confidence after doing several readings with, with um, all the other students. You, you realize I can do this. This is, this is, you know, this is real. And so, that's that's my main objective of, you know, when I teach a psychic class is that I want you to walk away with um, a ton of confidence because that's the main key to to being a psychic is the confidence. That was the hardest thing for me to get over. Um, even today, I struggle with, um, you know, posting about random things, like the Wisconsin thing. When I posted that, I, it scares, you know, it makes me nervous because you don't want to be wrong. You know, nobody wants to be wrong, but you just have to learn to trust whatever it is that you're getting and know that some way, somehow, this is going to come into fruition and there's a reason that I'm posting it. So, let me... Um, let me look and see if I have any questions. That's what I'm doing right now. Um, I'm looking on my on my phone. It's really weird watching myself on my phone. But um, let me see if there's any questions that I need to answer for you guys tonight. You guys are so nice. <laughs> hello, 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 hello. Okay, so... Hmm. Okay. Wish I could find a place down in Springfield, Missouri. Yes, Bill, that would be awesome. I haven't been to Springfield, Missouri ever. I've never been in that area. So um, it would be super, super cool to come up there. Um, Cheryl, you should consider still being a life coach. You would be perfect for that. After everything that, you know, you went through, you could actually come at it from a different angle. So um, maybe you consider life coaching, um, getting your life back on track uh, after, you know, grieving or 
you know, whatever it is, there's there's a niche in there for everybody. And so um, that's something to consider. That's brilliant. I think you'd have a lot to offer. Um, do yourself a favor if you can make an appointment. You are so sweet. Thank you, Holly. Okay, I'm not seeing... Um, okay. I have not scheduled my next mediumship class yet, Patty. Um, more than likely, it'll be in February. And so you have to take my psychic class first before you can take my mediumship class. So I usually try to schedule about a month in between. That way you can decide if you want to do it, get your finances together. Uh, both classes are $2.99. So just a heads up, there's that. Um, okay, let's see. I'm so sorry, Cheryl. Okay, so we have one more um, Christmas get together, work party, whatever you want to call it, open. If you're interested in that, just send me a message. That way um, we can get that set up. It'd be um, $6.50. You put $2.50 down and you can have up to 40 people there. And that's for like a Christmas work party type thing. Um, when are you available for, for a virtual reading? Christy, send me a private message and um, let me know that you're interested and then also give me like mm, nine days to get back to you. <laughs> um, thank you so much everybody for being so patient with me. It's kind of crazy to um, to go back and forth between um, you know being in an altered state and being a mom of two <laughs> all the time. Okay, so Christy, yeah, just send me a message and we will get you set up for a virtual reading. We can do those a couple different ways. You can do um, Skype. If you have Facebook and you prefer to do it that way, we ha it's kind of tricky because we have to go into um, your actual private Facebook in order to do a Facebook re live reading. But it's really been the best way um, that I've been able to make a connection. It's even better than FaceTime, but that's also another option is FaceTime if you have an iPhone. Um, because I'm an iPhone user, which I get all kinds of grief from Mr. Matthew about that. But Okay, um, thank you, Vicki. <laughs> thank you so much. Um, my next medium class, so we haven't scheduled it yet, Vicki. It look, it's looking like it's gonna be February. So you have to take the psychic class first, which I can't remember if you've taken that or not, Vicki, but um, if you have, then the mediumship class. I keep, I keep having to postpone them and, you know, uh, they just keep moving out further and further simply because so many people are, are getting sick or, um, you know, it, attendance is low and it's silly to teach two people. Not that it's silly, but, um, you know, we just want to make sure that we have enough people in there to read and to, to really... Um, to really make it worth it. Um, it's most effective with 10 people, if not more. Okay. I've been dealing with a lot of things that are strange, flashes, feelings, almost like a vision type. Dina, um, that actually sounds like it might be something medical, not so much metaphysical. Um, but if you are interested in talking about it, feel free to send me a message and, and I'll delve into it and see what I can come up with. Um, oh, thank you, Cheryl. You are so, so sweet. Well, I'm glad, Sandy. I look forward to our reading. I'm glad that you feel that way. Um, <laughs> okay, Matt, if you're watching, there you go. All right, um, good. If you've taken that class, you're good to go, Vicki. Okay, so, um, any, I feel like, super fallish tonight. I've got like my hot cocoa, I've got my big covers, I got my big fluffy socks. Anytime it's raining in November, I always think of, um, what is that song uh, by Guns N' Roses? Cold November rain or just November rain? So that's what I'm hearing in my mind as I'm sitting here. I'm just thinking of November rain. Um, okay, are auras a part of psychic ability? Absolutely. You know how I'm always constantly telling you, saying the word niche. I'm always using that word. I can't see an aura to save my life. Once in a blue moon, I will see, um, I will see an aura. I mean, 
it's it's very rare. So if you ever hear me say that to you, it's kind of a big deal. But uh, at least for me, but um, I can't I can't see auras that quick. I can read the energy of a person super quick. Is it good? Is it bad? Are they this? Or are they that? But as far as color goes, I'm not good with that. There are tons of psychics out there that are incredible with aura reading and that just blows my mind and I find it super fascinating. Um, same thing with palm readings. I can't read, I can't read palms at all. Um, you know, and I'm sure both of us could learn how to do that. It's just a matter of, um, having the interest and the motivation to, to learn. Because when I started out doing what I'm doing right now, um, you know, people are constantly telling me, oh, I wish I could do what you do, or, you know, I wish I, it came that easy. It didn't come super, super easy. It's a muscle, and I had to work it out. I had to take classes, and I had to do reading after reading after reading, you know, to eventually get to the point where I'm at now. So, you know, if, if reading auras is something that you're interested in doing, I highly suggest taking a class or um, just looking into that in general. Yeah, November rain. Sorry. Sorry, Cheryl. <laughs> Yeah, that's, you're right. Um, it, I think that a lot of our abilities pertain to um, where our strengths lie. And so um, I am really good at communication, at least I think I am. I'm a Gemini. And so um, hearing spirit, um, hearing things, you know, psychically, when I'm sitting in front of someone hearing um, they are going to get a new car, or they just bought a new car, or they need to get their brakes changed, something's going to happen. Um, I hear it like that versus seeing it. And that's because I'm a really good communicator. And so, um, you know, how you might see things could be completely different. It would make sense because you're super, super artsy. Okie dokie. My goodness, you guys. All right. Is anybody else drinking hot cocoa? Anybody? Wine? Anybody drinking wine? Okay. Come back to the Blue Note soon, please. My BFF and I have been to the last two. You're a rock star. Oh, Mindy Miller. I don't know who you are, but you just made my whole night. Thank you so much. You are so sweet. All right. Do you believe everyone has psychic abilities? Just most of us don't realize it. Erica, yes, 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 yes. Oh my gosh, a million times yes. Um, so I, I am a firm believer that all psychic ability is, this is it, this is all it is, is a gut feeling. It's just intuition. And we were all, that was put in the kit of human, right? So when we, when we came down here, we were all gifted with that, with that ability. Some of us um, use it and we don't even know that we're using it. Some of us don't believe in it. So we, you know, we're not aware, we're not interested. Uh, and then there are people like us who um, are incredibly in touch with it, with, with their ability. And, you know, I compare it a lot to Erica. I compare being psychic a lot to being able to sing. We, we all have the ability to sing because we all have a voice. Some of us are incredible at it. It, it. Some of us, it's just supernatural. We don't need coaching. We don't need anything. It comes to us easy and quick. Um, and, you know, we're able to just let it flow. And some of us, you know, we kind of have a decent voice, but we've got to go to a, light, uh, a, a voice coach, you know, to make, it, to make it sound up to par. And others, you don't want to hear them sing a lick. They just suck, like me. So it kind of goes they kind of go hand in hand and that's why that's why I always compare it to if that makes any sense I hope that answers your question okie dokie um yeah well and Chrissy you know you say I can only see auras sometimes that makes perfect sense because there are times when I'm just completely shut off um I haven't to this day had someone sit in front of me and not be, be able to read them um but there are times where it's much harder for me uh, to, to read somebody. So that makes sense. That makes sense to me. All right. Do you think psychic abilities are passed through your family? Totally. Absolutely. Um, I have an aunt uh, in Michigan, Aunt Lana. Hello, Aunt Lana. She is an incredible psychic. And I would give anything for her to come out and use her abilities. She blows me away. And um, I really feel like 
some, and, and even my grandmother, you know, she's told me before that she has some of the same abilities as I do. So I do think that, you know, just like a good singing voice or um, just like great hair, I really feel like it, it can be passed down. Some of it can be natural and come from your family, but it doesn't have to. Not at all. It definitely does not have to. You can start at any point in time. Okay, that's all the talk I needed. Good. <laughs> Fantastic. All right. Okay, Robin, let's see. I saw your question and I, okay. Um, okay. Do you think, okay, got you. Yeah, okay, it totally is. It definitely can be passed down. Like I said, just like a good singing voice, um, it can be it can be inherited for sure. Um, okay, any other questions before I hop off here? Is the life coaching a process of several sessions or does it just depend? Yes, Nancy, absolutely. Um, it's funny though because sometimes, and I, I really feel this, it only takes one or two sessions to break down the walls and get the motivation to go after whatever it is that you want to do or, or uh, you know, to see things from a different perspective. Um, and, you know, I've even had some people sit down and been, and I've been like, oh my God, no, 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 no. <laughs> you are headed in the wrong direction. And, you know, okay, let's talk about this. Let's talk about that. And they end up leaving with a completely different vision and feeling 10 times more motivated. So yeah, sometimes it takes one or two appointments. Sometimes it takes seven or eight, but um, you can you can talk to me and we can discuss doing like a, a um, like a package, you know, taking some money off if you buy a certain amount. And that's on my website too. So if that's something that you're interested in. Um, I say um a lot. I'm sorry. Um, I'm sorry. Okay. Let's see here. That's the one thing I want to know who my guides are, who my who are my angels. All right, that's an awesome question, Sunny. People ask me that all the time. So my answer for that is good luck. And here's why. I there are tons of books out there that talk um, that say they can take you through a meditation and teach you how to meet your guides. And I truly believe that they can. Um, but I don't believe that you can sit in front of a medium and have a medium tell you your guide is Anna and Jim and John and, and one of them's a Native American. I think that that's something that you have to, you have to find. There's been a few times, more than a few times, but times that I've touched on, oh my gosh, I think I just met one of your guides. It was weird. It was kind of like a crossing of, it, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, but, um, I really feel like as far as guides go, that's a journey that you have to go on yourself. That would be like you coming to me and saying, I don't know what I want to do in life. I have no, I, I have no interest. I have no idea what I want to do. Well, um, <laughs> you know, together we could figure it out, but it's going to have to, this revolves around you. This is something you're going to have to do. And with that being said, I want to tell you about an experience that I had out east when I went to um, Maine. I was studying with um, John Holland and Janet Nohavik, brilliant, brilliant mediums. Janet Nohavik is, I don't know if you guys have ever heard of Arthur Finley, but it's like the most prominent, amazing school for, for psychics ever. And she is a, a tutor for, for Arthur Finley in London. Anyways, she, she took us through this meditation. And at the time, I wasn't really... You know, I, I kind of, the way I am now, nonchalant about my guides, I know they're there, I appreciate them, I talk to them, I communicate with them, but who they are, I have no idea. Um, which sounds kind of silly, doesn't it? But that's the definition of faith, right? So anyways, um, during this meditation that she was walking us through, and it wasn't anything fancy, um, I could replay the meditation over and over and over again in my head, it was super simple. During the meditation, uh, I met my guides. One at a time, they walked, you know, walked in front of me, and it was the most profound experience I've ever had. It was really a moment where I thought, I might, I understand why people think we are crazy, <laughs> because 
I was meeting these, these, these people, um, you know, yeah, one of them was a, was a Native American, which kind of blew my mind. He was incredibly attractive. I'm like, oh, okay. Um, there was an older man named Roy. He had these big, thick black glasses on. Uh, one of them was my aunt. Um, and then I can't, I'm trying to think of, there were a couple other ones, but you know, off the top of my head. And I couldn't believe how many there were. I was, they, they just kept going. They didn't stop. And that would make sense. I probably need a huge team over there. <laughs> I feel like my guides are like this all the time. So anyways, it was a journey that I went on um, and I had to do it myself. And I just truly don't feel like, you know, if anybody sits in front of you and says, hey, these are your guides. This is their name. This is what they look like. You know what? Take it with a grain of salt. They might be correct. They, they may have the ability. If there's one thing that I know, it's that nothing surprises me anymore after being in this industry. So, um, you know, like I said, take it with a grain of salt, but do your own work. Um, there's several uh, YouTube videos out there, meditative meditation YouTube videos. All you need to do is sit on the end of your bed, turn on one of those YouTube meditation videos, and if you want a recommendation, I can send you it. Just send me a message. Um, and concentrate on meeting your guides, connecting with your guides. And it might take you four, five, six, ten times. But sit down and make set the intention that this is what I'm going to do during this meditation. I'm going to meet my guides. Okay. Oh, there's my Aunt Lana. Hello. I love you. Okay. So I hope that answered your question, Sunday. Thank you, Robin. Can a guide be a family member that passed long ago? Absolutely. I truly believe that. Um, I have a friend that passed, and on several occasions, she has lent a hand. You know, oh, man, I'm really having a hard time with this one. Can you step in? Um, if I'm really nervous before I go out and do a show or something like that, there's been so many times that she has stepped in, and she knew me. You know, we knew each other before she passed, and so I consider that a guide. Now, can a family member be a guide that you never met? Yep, because that I have one of those too. So, yeah, 100% yes, definitely. I guess you met them because you were at the point in your journey and knowledge that they felt you're right. You're right. I, I guess. It, I'll tell you this. It felt like an honor. When I got done with that meditation and, and after having met them, I thought, this is the craziest. I, it was so surreal. It was surreal is what it was. So I am making a note right now about um, meeting my guides because that's something I would like to put in my book. Maybe. We'll see. Oh, that book. It's driving me crazy. Okay. Oh, I believe Shelby. I, don't, I think Shelby's more than a guide to you. She's just always there. She's just, she's like your best friend. Okay. Let's see. Man, you guys are awesome. Aw, thank you, Anne. It helps me, too. I love coming on and seeing you guys. I hate where we're at. I hate this pandemic. It breaks my heart. It's It's been really hard financially. Um, I just, it's, it's crazy. And I don't know if you guys remember when I was talking about the number 19 uh, a year or two ago. When I got that vision, I was driving, so um, that's another way to get really, really great visions um, when you go into highway hypnosis. So when I'm traveling, a lot of times I'll get my visions, and I carry this little purple book with me, and while I'm driving, I hope that, hi Joe, while I'm, while I'm driving, I hope that um, my insurance guy isn't listening right now, but when I get that download, I'll whip out that purple book and I'll write it down. If you guys could see my purple book where I wrote the number 19 and a broken heart over and over and over again, finally I got enough confidence to go ahead and men mention it on, on Facebook. Um, and I just, it, there was so much, it felt like the weight of the world was on my chest every time I thought about the number 19 for two years. It was so bad that if I had, if I had planned a show on the 19th and forgot about it, like I forgot that the 19th was a bad number or a bad omen, um, I would pay police to 
sit out front with their car because I thought there's something terrible. There's something bad that's going to happen. Is there one of these events or, you know, something bad's going to happen with 19. If there were 19 people signed up to come to an event or to a class, I would add three or four more. Um, and so I'm telling you this because, you know, my vision was never super clear. And I don't know if it was because I didn't give myself um, enough time. I didn't meditate on it. I didn't sit and say, okay, what is this? What are you showing me? You know, and I really don't. I'm so busy that, you know, I just catch glimpses of things here and there. And so I'll write it down. Um, so I don't know if they would have given me more or not. But I think it's incredibly important for you to know that as a psychic medium, I knew only nuggets. And we all do. It's psychics. It's just little golden nuggets of information that we know, you know. And so that's kind of what happened with COVID-19. It was like, there it is. So now I'm not scared to have events on the 19th anymore. I know, it does. Yeah, yep, it's because I go into that highway hypnosis, Cheryl, and you know, while I'm there, while I'm driving, I almost always get visions. Uh, oh, so-and-so's pregnant. Oh, so-and-so's getting a new truck. Um, oh my God, that person just died. Those visions and, and those feelings and that information comes through so clear to me when I'm driving. And that's another reason why I love to drive and travel. I'm like, what am I going to find out now? Okay. All right. I'm trying to think, is there any other questions that anybody has before I get off of here? It is very rare that I have time to do this. I'm trying to answer everybody's emails and Facebook messages. I think I just got through all of them. I just spent the last two hours or so doing that. All right, guys. I think we're going to call it a night. It's so special to me when you guys hang out. It makes me feel like... Um, just, it just makes me feel so grateful and so blessed, and you have no idea. You have no idea. You guys think, oh, thank you for doing this, but for me, it's thank you for tuning in because um, oh, I'm just so grateful. All right. Okay. One more. Okay. Two more. What are the main signs of being a psychic in your opinion? Erica, it's incredibly hard to realize when you're psychic because you have it usually most of your life and um, you don't realize that you even have it. It becomes so, um, it becomes a part of who you are and so everything's so subtle. Whenever you get a message or whenever you get a download, you think it's just a thought. Uh, and in reality, you're receiving a download from the universe. So begin to uh, journal. That would be the first thing that I would suggest. The main signs are going to be things like seeing triple digits, um, you know, having strong telepathy. So somebody calls you and you're in the other room and you know exactly who it is um, without even seeing it. You know, sometimes I'll think, uh, I, you know, I'm waiting for this to come in the mail or something's coming in the mail um, and then I'll come home and it's there. So those types of things. Um, trying to think of a couple of the big things. You know, when I was a kid... There were so many times where I would think things and then, you know, four or five minutes later they would happen or I would think, I think my grandmother's at my house right now or I think my, my Aunt Lena is going to come to visit me today. And then I would get home and there they were. And so it's little instances like those and, you know, you combine them all together and you begin to realize, oh, okay. Um, deciding that somebody's pregnant, you know, before they even announce it, that's a big one. Um, so if you have those types of connections, those, and those are very, you know, descriptive, but if you have those types of connections, several, one after another, after another, you need to step back and look at yourself and decide, okay, I think I might, I might have a stronger ability than, than some others. Good. Thank you. I'm glad, Ashley. Oh, Patty, you're so sweet. You are just the sweetest. Thank you so much for all the support and coming to classes and coming to events and um, believing in mediumship. I don't care who you go to or who you get your reading from. If you're spreading the light, you're spreading the light. And I appreciate it. 
All right, I am gonna hop off of here. I truly love each and every one of you. I say I love you 24 seven, especially to my kids. I just say I love you all the time. I say I love you people I don't even know. Okay, all right. You guys have an amazing night and a wonderful Thanksgiving. Thanks for hanging out with me. If you have any questions about tonight's live, feel free to message me. Just give me a little bit of time to get back to you, okay? All right. Uh, Linda, there are some podcasts I recommend. In fact, I've got two or three that I'm getting ready to appear on that are going to go live soon. So uh, shoot me a message, and I will get you that information. All right. Good night. Goodbye. I love you. Peace. Bye. Hello. Goodbye.